Good morning, or depending on when you're watching this, good afternoon, good evening, or good night. My name's Ross, and as always told, out of voice for radio, so today we need to talk about the Unigaba promos. There is one big story that is happening in the Pokemon TCG this morning, and that is the fact that the Unigaba promos are being made available. They are out there. They are in the world. And it's getting silly like proper job silly now i i was going to stay up last night all right i was going to stay up now the way this worked over on the pokemon center they have now introduced a queuing system so i turned to the lovely antoine boulet who informed me the way it works is like this you had to go on the website between 9 30 a.m and 10 a.m japan time uh for context that was 1 30 and 2 a.m. UK time, at which point you would be assigned a random number, and you can start shopping when your number comes up after 10 a.m., which, remember, 2 a.m. UK time. And I was going to stay up. I honestly was going to stay up. And then I ended up going to bed much earlier than normal because I felt like absolute rubbish last night. I hoped it would work this morning. Now, I was actually pretty lucky in a way. Because what I did was I woke up this morning, I went to the Pokemon Center online, and I ordered a bunch of stuff. Did I get absolutely everything perfectly that I wanted? No. No, I didn't, ladies and gentlemen. But you know what I did get? A bunch of stuff. I ordered a bunch of sleeves and a bunch of deck boxes, and I got my promos. Now... Here's a picture that just shows there is a bunch of stuff in stock. There's actually, I'm recording this two hours after I ordered my promos. There are actually some things that have sold out in the intervening two hour period. But I'm quite happy. I got, I think I went and ordered eight sets of sleeves and six deck boxes. Because I'm a big TCG nerd. And life is good. I spent 10,000 yen. I got my 10 promos. I ordered a bunch of sleeves and deck boxes. Jobs are good and at some point they will appear at my house and life is good. But what are these EV promos? We should probably take a step back at this stage and start explaining what they are. Well, I told you I just spent 10,000 yen and weirdly, right, I put 14 items in my basket. I hadn't checked. I hadn't been adding it up as I went along. And after putting 14 items in, I went, right, well, they're the things I want to buy. I need to spend 10,000 yen. How much have I spent? 10,039 yen. I could not have done it any more perfectly. It was amazing. I'm very, very happy with myself. So the reason I need to spend 10,000 yen is because the way they're doing it is you get one random promo for every thousand yen. It is not if you spend a thousand yen, you get a promo. It is for every thousand yen. So you don't need to be doing... 10 orders of a thousand yen you need to do one order of ten thousand yen and then you get 10 promos now the way it works is it is up to ten thousand yen so if you spend ten thousand yen you get 10 promos if you spend eleven thousand yen you get 10 promos if you spend twelve thousand yen you get wait for it 10 promos so for that reason, I went online this morning, and look, I know that some of the best stuff had already sold out, because they went online at 2am, and I got there at about 7am, five hours later, but I still got my order in, and I got my promos, and life was good. I am getting 10 of the random promos. Now, there are one of each EV promo, so they are, get ready, there's an Eevee, there's a Vaporeon, there's a Jolteon, there's a Flareon, there's an Espeon, there's an Umbreon, there's a Leafeon, there's a Glaceon, and there is a Sylveon. All drawn by Unigaba, and I was on the fence before, I'm not on the fence anymore, I love these promos. Now, I get 10, there are 9 different ones, I'm hoping I get one of each, but I've got other friends who are ordering the promos, I'm hoping that if I don't get one of each, I can trade with them and life will be good. So, if I'm telling you that I just came and logged on at 7am this morning and went and ordered how long did i have to wait 13 minutes now actually as i went and logged on this morning like to record this video there is no longer a queue the queue no longer exists there is no longer a queue it's not there which is kind of awesome honestly 
you can just go straight on and jobs are good and now as a little bit of a test i just went and put three expensive things into my basket this morning just to get myself over the 10,000 yen threshold and you will notice as i record this at the moment yeah the promos are still available it's half nine in the morning the promos went up at seven now admittedly some of the most sought after products have sold out but there are plenty of products that are still in stock the promos are still available and like i say as i'm recording this video now i literally just put the three most expensive tcg products in my basket to get over 10,000 yen but as i did that you will notice the promos are there and the promos are available and that's very very important now at the moment this is fine and i made a decision right i made a decision last night i am not gonna go for the very 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 i'm gonna get the perfect products and get the promos as well i made the decision that i wanted the promos i decided it was extremely likely that it would still be available this morning and that gamble paid off other people have had a very different experience so the lovely primal lugia went and did what i was planning to do and we see this tweet what am i doing with my life i need to wake up three hours from now and there is a screenshot showing estimated waiting time one hour or more this was what i almost did and if i wasn't ill last night this is almost certainly what I would have done. I've spoken to Primal Luger and some other people who were trying to use the website. And essentially what happened was that when you went on there, the queuing time, now not only was the queuing time several hours for some people, but they couldn't check out. So the lovely Primal Lugia told me this morning, I couldn't check out after waiting one and a half hours in the queue, tried everything, Entered my credit card, then saw Japanese people on Twitter saying they were checking out for two hours and then it was 5 a.m. And I said no. And then, of course, tried again. <laughs> uh, delighted to say Primal Lugia did. They did go and get their promos. Everything is happy. Although I think kind of summed it up quite nicely with this tweet. Being an Evolutions fan was a mistake. <laughs> absolutely and here's the thing right if you tried going into pokemon centers in japan it was worse the online experience like i say at 2 a.m uk time when they went live 10 a.m japan it was just silly by 7 a.m uk time it was reasonable and now it's absolutely fine although again it is when you spend money on products. So obviously, as time goes by, more and more products are selling out. I'll be honest with you. The sleeves I most wanted were the Kato Magnazone sleeves. They were the ones I'd not yet actually gotten around to buying. Most of the other sleeves I really wanted, I'd picked up. I really wanted the Kato Magnazone sleeves. And I am delighted to say that I got myself a set of the Kato Magnazone sleeves. But we're seeing things be even sillier if you're trying to go to an actual physical Pokemon Center. Of course, there are Pokemon Centers all over Japan. So, we've got a couple of tweets here. We've got one from the lovely Yorimena Somali. Let's go for that. Just showing people just absolutely just, well... It's busy, all right? I think that's a way to put it. This Pokemon Center is just absolutely silly. This is a Pokemon Center over in Osaka. And what unfortunately doesn't make me happy to hear, it says there were people who yelled at each other and fought with the store clerk. Uh, they're promos, guys, all right? And look, they're very cool promos. I have been very, very clear throughout this entire video that these are amongst, you know, some of the coolest products. These are promos i absolutely love okay i am a huge fan of these promos but yelling at people and fighting to get them no i'm sorry that is absolutely ridiculous i do not think this is a good thing at all i am not a fan of this that is that is over the top now there was another tweet that was sent out by pokecomania over on twitter now this one is a little bit blurry uh, as my wife said she would struggle to shop in a shop that's so blurry but i think more importantly look how busy it is 
It's extremely busy because this is people going crazy for the promos. This is the one over in Umeda. There are so many people waiting at the cashier, maybe three hours. It's a weekday. Isn't it today? Yeah, we're talking about a weekday and there are people queuing for three hours. I have heard reports of some Pokemon centers lowering it to, you know, certain entry times and limiting the amount of promos people are allowed to buy and things of that nature. And it's silly. Obviously, if you go into the Pokemon Center, you can get the promos right now, not having to wait for them to get delivered. But as silly as it has been trying to get them online, it seems like some physical Pokemon Centers have really upped it. And it's because they're Eeveelution promos, and they are amazing. So, should we all be worried about this? And the answer is no. Because as I've kind of alluded to a couple times through this video, if you want to get really specific items with the promos, yeah, no, you, you should be a little bit worried because it's really hard because stuff is selling out really fantastically quickly. If you just want the promos, I mean, look, as far as I'm concerned, a thousand yen at the moment is six pounds. Would I pay six pounds for one of these random promos? Oh my goodness, yes, I would, because they're amazing. So this morning, I went and spent that times 10. I'm getting 10 random promos, but I'm also getting eight sets of sleeves and six deck boxes that are all very cool. And I was, I, I like to try and be kind of tough with myself. I try to make sure I'm buying sleeves and deck boxes that I would have wanted to buy anyway, that if I see on the shelves when I go to Japan in August, I will pick up because I like the sleeves. I've not been buying random sleeves I don't like. I've been buying sleeves that I actually genuinely like. And it's been fine. But going to the Pokemon Center was ridiculous. Trying to get them as they went live was ridiculous. Trying to get the very best products while getting the promos has been ridiculous. So we need to go and have a check on Makari just very quickly and see what's happening with this. And the weird thing is, like, people are reselling them. But the packs are being resold for about a thousand yen each. Bearing in mind it's one pack per thousand yen, right? That's what's going on. So, you know, we saw 10 packs sold for 8,000 yen, 10 packs sold for eight and a half. We've got what looks to be 10 packs for sale for 10,000 yen, four packs for sale for 4,444. And admittedly, you're essentially paying 1,000 yen per pack and getting 1,000 yen worth of stuff. But it's not like these packs are being sold for a huge amount over on Makari. It's basically the price you paid minus the goods you got. There is a complete set of all nine evolutions for 12,000 yen. Well, nine packs would be 9,000 yen. And then the chances of pulling all nine from nine packs would be quite low. It's not like these are getting to ridiculous prices yet. And bearing in mind, these are listings from right when this promotion goes live. And it's not running out that quickly. When the Unigaba Pikachu came out, we all kind of expected that that was going to run out really quickly. And it didn't. It lasted days and days and days. That Unigaba Pikachu was available for quite a long time. I don't think these are going to sell out in the next couple of hours, honestly. Like I say, I casually came here five hours after the promotion went live on the Pokemon Center. And when it went live, queues were over an hour and it was ridiculous. And you know what? It was fine. I had to wait 13 minutes. Oh, no. And seven hours after it went live, you didn't even have to wait. So yeah, when it went online initially, it was ridiculous. Going into Pokemon Centers this morning from the reports I'm hearing, and I'm obviously not there on the ground, but the reports I'm hearing are that it is absolutely ridiculous. But it's not actually that hard to go online and get the promos if you're not that selective about which Pokemon TCG products you're buying. Well, like I said, as I record right now, there are plenty of stuff available. Going and picking up packs on the secondary market... I mean, I'd, I'd rather spend 10,000 yen and get 10,000 yen worth of stuff and 10 packs. But 10,000 yen for 10 packs is really not ridiculous. It honestly isn't. So, yeah, on the one hand, it's been a bit silly. On the other hand, in some ways, this has been managed really well. Like, if this was a disaster, I would not have been able to casually come into my studio when I woke up this morning and get 10 of the promos while buying 
I mean, 10,000 yen, you're talking 60 quid. Eight packs of sleeves, six deck boxes, 10 promos. And I'm sorry, for 60 quid, that is about the biggest bargain you're ever going to find. Now, I know at this point, some of you are going to be asking, wassy, 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 you're in the UK. You're telling me you're ordering these. How are you ordering these? Nice and simple, you need a proxy address. The Pokemon Center Japan, as I record, has plenty of TCG stock. The promos are still being given out. You need to get, well, it is one promo per thousand yen up to a maximum of 10. So if you want four packs, spend at least 4,000 yen. If you want 10 packs, spend at least 10,000 yen. Simple as that. But they will only ship to a Japanese address. They will ship to proxy addresses. As I've told you a number of times, I personally use Tenso. As I tell you every single time, this is not an advertisement. This is not an endorsement. I am not sponsored by Tenso. I am not recommending Tenso. I am not saying they are better than other companies. I am saying they are the ones I choose to use. They're the only ones I've ever used. I have found them okay. I am, although there was a problem once where a package got lost, but it got found again. I am not endorsing them or recommending them. If you wish to use a proxy address, the risk, I'm afraid, ladies and gentlemen, is all on you. So there we go. The promos are out there. And in some ways, it's getting kind of ridiculous. And in other ways, it's actually been managed really well and has been quite easy. Hey ho. For now, ladies and gentlemen, I want to know what you think about this. So go nuts in the comment section, but be nice. And then make sure you like this video, subscribe to this channel, follow me on Twitter at the Wasi. That's where we talk about Pokemon and card games and all kinds of fun things. And please do consider checking out patreon.com slash ptcgradio, where you can support the channel, get some bonus podcasts, join a Discord, all kinds of fun things. And to get shoutouts on the channel, like the lovely SWTV, who is one of our newer Patreons, so thank you very much for the support and hopefully being a very lovely person. But by far the most important thing as always... Look after yourselves till next time, would ya? Thank you very much for watching. My name's Ross, and you've been watching PTCG Radio.